as surprise. Oh, there we can see them uh, in their capsule. There is Doug is Hurley Doug. there reading his instructions. Looks like Bob is there to your right. Looks like he's wearing a blue sweatshirt there drinking some water. Uh, yeah, so they're just checking to make sure uh, there's the back of Doug's head. <laughs> um, just to make sure that they are drinking enough water. You heard them mention as prescribed. Uh, that is, that intent, excuse me, that means that our flight surgeon is prescribing them how much water they should be drinking, whether or not they should be taking salt tablets to help them retain that water uh, as they are making their journey back home. So and, going, yeah, uh, here's here's that view we've talked about a couple of times, looking directly over their shoulders. And so you have those three main touchscreen dis displays, and they can configure them in a number of different modes. Uh, it looks like the one they have in the middle is giving them their trajectory. A uh, couple of illuminated buttons underneath the touchscreens. Uh, some of the really critical functions uh, that require immediate action uh, get a button dedicated to them. Uh, for example, they have buttons for a number of the, number of the pyro uh, events on board the Dragon spacecraft, uh, like parachute deploy or the ability to cut those parachutes once they splash down in the water. Um, and so they're going to get these configured, and this is going to be how they track the progress of their flight home. And he sent copies. And we just got confirmation that uh, Capsule Endeavor has closed the forward hatch. We got the call that they were on station. We also got the call that the NASA WB-57 airplane is in the air. And we've actually seen a couple of brief spurts of video. That's the airborne asset that we'll have, that WB-57 is a high altitude research plane uh, that NASA flies. It's outfitted with a number of imaging cameras. Uh, the main one that we'll be seeing is an infrared one. Um, if you watch the demo one splashdown, which I'm sure you all did, uh, you were able to see uh, that first, and this is actually a glimpse of that WB-57 camera. Um, we'll be getting this back, and uh, if we acquire it the same time we did for demo one, uh, we were able to see the capsule while it was still in that atmospheric reentry. So it was just this really bright light that all of a sudden lit up the sky, and that was the first view we got of Dragon. And so we'll use that to hopefully see uh, during the entry and then the initial parachute deploys, and then we'll have a couple more assets on the ground or on the water on the boat uh, that will get a couple more views of Dragon as it delivers Bob and Doug safely to the air.
and SpaceX depart burn zero complete. Copy complete. Revisor's up. And with that, Bob and Doug have concluded their stay aboard the International Space Station. They're on their way back to planet Earth. Confirms a physical separation at 4.35 p.m. Pacific as the station and Dragon were flying to... Dragon SpaceX depart burn zero complete. Copy complete. Revisor's up. And with that, Bob and Doug have concluded their stay aboard the International Space Station. They're on their way back to planet Earth. Confirms a physical separation at 4.35 p.m. Pacific as the station and Dragon were flying 200... <laughs> Dragon SpaceX com check. Dr. Agile out and clear. We're about 3.9 GE. Copy. We've got you 5x5 five five as well, Doug. Looking good, and you can expect an automated shoot deployment. Copy. It'll shoot the deployment. Hatch. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. We are visual on four shoots out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splashdown. Yes. 